fire last night in Cudahy forcing dozens of senior citizens to evacuate their homes and into freezing temperatures. Our Stephanie Quirk has details from fire crews today and residents who are now seeking permanent shelter. On a bitter cold Tuesday night, all I had was on with a shirt and a jacket. Dozens of people who live in the Washington Square apartments were forced to rush outside wearing the bare minimum. Well, when I opened my door, I smelled smoke. And that, that's it. Cudahy Fire Department says fire broke out at around 8.30 Tuesday night. Smoke and flames could be seen flowing from the third floor of the 60-unit apartment complex. It was cold out here. Freezing. Multiple other departments were called in to help residents find shelter. A 45-year-old man was taken to the hospital for smoke inhalation, and no one else was injured. But the Red Cross says around 65 people were displaced. I thought it was a false alarm. You know, um, I couldn't imagine. Firefighters were able to put the fire out and are still investigating a cause. Some of them, I heard, are flooded on the first floor. However, now officials say it's uncertain when residents will be able to return to their homes. The thing is, you don't know really what it's like until it happens to you. You can see the damage on one of these windows here at Washington Square Apartments. Now, the Red Cross says they are setting up shelter at Holler Park for residents that were impacted here by this fire. 